Control everything. Now he's saying that the Lord's name isn't the Lord's name, it's just a title. So, through the Spirit of God, with Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, what we want to do is go into the scriptures and prove otherwise. This is not an ad hominem attack. At the end of the day, man, it's all about doctrine coming out. Right. You know, and, and, and Lord, Lord willing to, to Zariah to see this video and he'll understand. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, man, keeping on throwing out these wrong doctrines and all this, we are fully dis we are fully set in the defense of the gospel. As the scripture has said, does somebody got that? Come, got it right. Come. It's, uh, Philippians 1 and 17. But the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. Set for the defense of the gospel, meaning that we are ready. Just like the Lord said that he was going to send you up against a brazen wall. Just like the Lord said that his prophets are fire and you are wood. You are seeing this come to pass, man. Do not deny what the scriptures are saying. Do not deny what you see before your own eyes. Captain Tazariak of the ISUPK, the only group that got the truth, right. is saying that the Lord's name is not the Lord's name, the Lord is not in control, so on and so forth. So with us being fully descent in the defense of the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, let these precepts reign. Whatever we got, let's go. saying in this uh in his uh uh monologue is that the name of the heavenly father is just a title right? you see and the way we use it and how we use it so according to the scriptures right it's 
everything that we say from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down to like-minded men, it has to be according to the scriptures. There are no scriptures that says that Yahweh is a title. According to the scriptures, Yahweh told Moses that this is my name amongst the generations forever. I got that. Let's okay. go. Real quick, Exodus 3 and 13. And when Moses said unto the Most High, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers have sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? They ain't say what's his title. That's what I'm saying. You know, he, what are you, C CEO? What's his title? You know? Bro, thank you. You know, bro. You know, right. Yeah. Dad, that father is a title. <laughs> Son is a title. Right? Uncle, title. Mother, title. Right. Cousin, title. Right. What is your cousin's name, though? Right, right. We all have names. You see? Yep. Moses asked the Lord, what name should I tell him? Allah shot you. That's a title. The Heavenly Father. That's a title. The Almighty, that's a title, right? King of Kings, title. Lord of Lords, title. But what's the name of this man, right? I'm going to break it down to a carnal level. Aaron Jordan, what's his name? Michael. You see, King James, what's his name? LeBron. You see, you have titles and you have names. There's a difference. If somebody want to go Google, name. If somebody want to go Google, title. What does it say? Right? Yeah. Is it more? Oh, yeah, it says, and, uh, and when I come unto the children of Israel, I shall say unto them, the God of your fathers have sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, what is his name, and what shall I say unto them? Bro, the God, title, of your fathers, title, and his name. What's the name? That's what I'm saying. My dad, my daddy, my father, his name is Michael. Right? When you introduce somebody to your parents, do you say, yeah, you say, this is my dad, Michael. This is my mom, Renee. Right? And that's what they call them. They don't call them as another, a random ass nigga can't call my mom a mama. <laughs> <laughs> a random ass nigga can't call my daddy daddy. Right. He gonna call him by his proper name. Right. Proper name. Look that up. Right. You see? Go ahead, bro. It says verse 14, and the most high said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, which in other words, he's saying, I'm I'm him. Right. You know, Jake in his world be like, shit, I'm him. Yeah. Did that do it in other That's the most high saying. I'm him. I'm just him. You, you know, which is that's what Yahweh means. And it says that he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me. That's a title. Yep. And it says, And the Most High said, Moreover, so moreover on that Moses, moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh, the power of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. All titles. Yeah, yeah. All titles. All titles. Read that again, Bob Kishon. It says, And thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh, right. the God of your fathers. The God of your fathers, that's the title. Yahweh is the God of your father. Yeah, the God of your fathers has a name. Go ahead. Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham. The God of Abraham, that's a title. The God of Isaac. That's another title. And the God of Jacob. That's another title. Have sent me unto you, mm -hmm. and this is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. And even Captain Cesario, he mentioned, when you see the name, the Lord in the Bible, yeah. in all caps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lord, God. <laughs> he, he, he like the guy that actually gets the interception, runs all the way to the 10, and just fumble it. <laughs> just fumble the other team gets the ball and goes through it. He ran back 99 yards, dropped the ball prematurely. And the other team picked it up and ran it all the way in for a real touchdown. In the Super Bowl. In the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you see? So what so Lord Lord willing through the spirit, what we want to do is we, we we've established, we've established obviously the way he's saying the to So that's one thing you notice about Cesaria. For the past couple of weeks, he's been speaking on straight emotion. You see, he not he don't have no scriptures to back up what he's saying. You see, there's no scripture to back up to back you up to say that Yahweh is just a title. So are you saying that we don't know the Lord's name? Because it's another
another group out there that says we don't know the Lord's game and you don't like them either. Isaiah 42 and uh, 8. It says, I am the Lord Yahweh. That is my name. Mm. Stop. Straight to the point. Stop. It said, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. You know, that's titles for the Lord. Bro, yeah. hey, y'all remember y'all remember Rocky Fo? Mm -hmm. yeah. When Apollo came out before he got killed by Drago. How many titles did they say before uh, they said Apollo? They had a whole Drago? list, a whole list of them. The master of disaster, the king of steam, the fist, the counter money fist, though, all these different things. But after all that, right. they said Apollo, Apollo Creed, because that's his name. Break out what you got, bro. And then yeah, yeah, bring you just up. Back you up. It's just that word distinguished because when you say you want to get so, to know someone on a first name basis, that means you want to what? You want to establish that relationship with them. That means you separate your relationship from the title. It's a name. It's the word distinguished. It says distinguished. To recognize or treat someone or something as different. So when you distinguish the title from the name, all right, just like the Lord distinguished us from all the other nations. Right. He said we're a peculiar people, a special people. So did he with the name. He distinguished that name. You got different, all types of names out there, but the, you only got one name that's called Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. One, one thing that solidifies us from other nations, the Lord said he put his name in us. Mm -hmm. Put his name in, in, his, in our nation. We we'll start off with Judah, Yahweh with him, man. Yeah. Yeah. Else, you know? That's right. right. I got you. Appreciate it. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and it's safe. That's what I'm saying, man. The name. The name. The brother that was down in Florida, man. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shimei Shah, he got caught in a dicky situation and he used the names to uh Yahweh Bashimi Shah and he was delivered, man. You see, we don't gotta go into the detail. You know what I'm saying? If you if, if you sister, you saw the video and you were moved by it. You know, but, 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 but for you to say it's the Lord, that's what I'm saying. You got one group saying the name don't matter. You got another group saying his name is just a title. The scriptures don't agree with that, man. You see, so if we're just going to go according to what the scriptures say and go by strictly the precepts, forget emotions, forget looks, forget likes, forget dislikes, forget popularity, forget the world. What does the Bible say about it, man? You see? And a lot, and the, and the Bible said that the Lord deserves respect, starting with His name, especially considering the fact that He put His name on you, right? Yeah. If the Lord put His name on you, how does it not matter? But you got all these people that keep on saying this shit, man. Right. Yeah, when you see the Lord's name in all caps, you say you have a but. Ain't no but. Ain't no but. The Lord's name is Yahweh, and that's the truth. And either you're going to tell it or you're not, man. All that sugarcoating and wiggling and all this whole ass shit y'all doing, man, it's, it's played out. It's played out, and it's showing. It's showing. The Lord has drawn a line in the sand between who he's dealing with and who he's not dealing with, man. Who got a precept? Hey, hey, bro, man. Man. I, just, I was about to, on that point with the Lord, who he's dealing with and who he's not, 
what Yahweh was shy said. The ones we dealing with that name come along with it. John 17, he right. says, I have manifested my name unto the men which thou hast given me. Right. So that's that's kind of an indic not kind of, that's an indicator that the Lord ain't dealing with you then. It's hundred percent true because the Lord ain't dealing with you. Because mm -hmm. it said in Sirach 17 <laughs> that the elect won't praise the Lord holy name. Straight up, everybody ain't giving up the, the praise of name. That's that's that distinguishing. That's right. You know, the Lord gonna give his name to do and they're gonna Reverence it, they're gonna call on it, believe in it. He gonna give it to the world. Like John said, meet for repentance. The Lord gonna give those ones who worthy to call on his name, he gonna get that to them, man. Right. And they gonna proclaim that, man. Look at the prophets of old. All the prophets of old they let you know who they were sent by. When Elijah yeah. had called down the fire from heaven, he ain't just just throw out any title or name. No, he said, Look, this Yahweh. You see? No, right. he said, This Yahweh. Lot, this Yahweh that did that. Straight up. So we said today the same thing. We ain't saying the most high didn't know. Yahweh gonna do this. Yahweh Shah gonna do this, man. You know, but that's it. So I just like y'all got to bring this back to the song. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start by running off the point. This is uh second Ezra two and uh forty six it says Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them and give it the palm to the hand? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. And again, I greatly to command them to, that stood so swiftly for the name of the Lord. How do you go confess a name you don't know? Can somebody get that real quick? You see? Because we claim to be of the hopeful elect. Right? He He's saying, he's saying that the Lord's name ain't the Lord's name. He's saying that the Lord ain't in control. He's saying John the Baptist ain't the truth. He's saying that the mark of the beast ain't the chip. Right. But according to the Bible, going into the Bible, going into the scriptures, looking up the words, going into the history, doing all these things, who's doing that? We say this all the time. You don't see you don't see your favorite athlete in practice. You don't see him in the weight room. You see him in the game. Right? But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, the apostles and elders are showing you how they practice. By going into the blue level, going into the Jewish Yehudi, going into the Hebrew, going into the Greek, and making these things link together while everybody else is just talking shit. Sorry, I can't tell you where he found what he's saying. Unless we can put an x-ray on him and look in his mind. Right? We'll have to examine his head to see what he's talking about. All you gotta do is watch our videos. And call all your shit you shop for giving us the, 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 the spirit to be able to navigate through these scriptures and break these things down. This thing is, this thing, he's not even using the Bible. Like he's not even using the Bible. But he's saying that the Lord is not in control. We got all these precepts lined up to say that the Lord is in total control. His name matters, what his name is. And you got a nigga with no Bible saying, mm -hmm. what are we supposed to do with that? You supposed to kill a man with a goddamn sledgehammer. Captain Tazari, the reason why you keep eating the answer fast, the same questions over and over and over and over and over and over again is because you were asking. 
measuring them wrong. And the Lord is extending his hand out to you so you can get it right. That's what's happening, bro. That's what's happening, bro. Either you're going to see that or you're not. Whatever you decide was written already. So we ain't going to sweat it. But it's also written for us to extend that hand. And we don't got no problem doing that, do we? Because the scripture says, the scripture says that the elect cannot be pulled out of the Lord's hand. So if you are of the elect, you're going to come out of that. But if you are not, you're going to suffer that judgment of the people who are not elected. Who who is a liar but he that denieth that Yahushua is a Mashiach? He is anti Hamashiach that denieth the Father and the Son. That's what I'm saying. You got on anti Christ basketball shorts. You threw an interception again, again. Bro, every interception you throw get throw get taken back for six, bro. The Lord ain't in control, really. Pig, six. The Lord, the Lord's name is just a title. Here it is. He told Moses. He told Moses, a man of the Lord, what his name is gonna be forever. Here come a nigga though. Here come a nigga though. With a hole in his knee, you talking shit. When you go, when you gonna jump back into the scriptures, Tazaria? I'm done with that captain shit. You just Tazaria. When you gonna jump back into the scriptures, man? Cause, you, Cause the last two times we seen your ass on camera, you talking that bullshit with no scriptures. You need the scriptures to defend the gospel if that's what you call yourself doing. If, you, if, if, if what you're doing is not defending the gospel, make the announcement so we'll know. Cause our job is to defend the gospel. And you got the ball. And we on defense. Cause that ain't right, bro. That ain't right. As much as you say Christ, you know what I'm saying? You throw your house. Well, y'all use the names Yahweh and Yahweh shot so loosely. It's just a title. It ain't gonna really <laughs> hey, but, but but that's what I'm saying. The deceiver and the seat and the deceiver heals. Somebody got that? Got it right. Bring it out, brother. Uh, Bob, Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So whether we right and you wrong or vice versa, the Lord is still in control. <laughs> Next precept. We're going to go around the table. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jude, I'm going to jump around too for you. But this is Jude uh, uh, 1 and 4. This is for these are... Uh, but there are a certain men crept in and aware who, have, who were before old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of the Most High into lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's what I'm saying. That's what you're doing. You denying the Lord. I was saying, you call Sarnera stupid for putting man and the Most High on the same level when you're doing the exact same thing. just prophesied that you was going to do that so we according to the spirit we read these scriptures and we identify who it attaches to you see it talked about men waxing worse and worse and all these different things honestly i thought the next video you was going to do was going to be backpedaling on the last time you fucked up you just ignored that and fucked up again Let's go. Uh, right. <laughs> Jumping down to eight, it says, Likewise, also these filthy dreamers that follow the flesh despise the men and speak evil of dignity. You speak evil of dignities, man. You see? You, 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 you disrespect the men that's actually sincerely trying to pull you out of the fire. You disrespect the men that's actually toiling in the word, you know, have come out of the world and are spreading the gospel. You covered your eye from, you covered your eyes from the light of the world. <laughs> you see? With a proud attitude at that. Not only did you cover your not only did you cover your eyes, you know what I'm saying? You 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 verbally despised it. You know? But the scriptures talked about people doing that. And at the end of the day, man, the 
Lord said he was going to make us enemies for the sake of the gospel. Did somebody get that? Uh, 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 just type in enemy for the gospel's sake. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, bro, ain't nobody resisting the will of the Lord, man. You see? You doing what you doing because that's your life. We doing what we doing because that's our life. Go ahead. Romans 11 and 27. It's 28. It says, as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. That's talking about Israel. When the Lord said, my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts, he was talking about situations like this. Can't nobody outlove Israel when it comes to the Lord. You can't outlove the Lord when it comes to Israel. But for his purpose, he sent Israel head to head. He did that in the time of Acts. He did that in the Old Testament. When Israel was warned against each other, when Benjamin did what they did, nothing new under the sun. But all of those things were put together, you know what I'm saying, for us to flourish. You see? But then you, but then, but then you got niggas in all black talking that bullshit without even using the scriptures. Show me a precept that say John the Baptist is whatever you say he is. The nigga with the will. Right? Show me a scripture that say you can do it in the butt. Show me a scripture that say the mark of the beast is 666 white boys. Or a cell phone. Or any of the other stuff you niggas be talking about, man. Talk about what the other niggas talking about. Catfish and hot sauce. Yeah. If I say John the Baptist, if John the Baptist is a plate of hot, uh, catfish, you give me the hot sauce. That's what I'm saying. Don't be, don't be surprised on Judgment Day if John the Baptist show up with a bottle of hot sauce right in your fucking <laughs> face. John the Baptist is just, is just a little squirrel. You give him some nuts. But, 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 but Yahawashah said that John the Baptist is the greatest prophet ever. So who you think we gonna roll with? You got it. It says I'm gonna get like I said, I'm gonna demonstrate the phone. You got it. Ten says, but these be evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally are brute beasts. And those things they corrupt themselves. That's what I'm saying. So when it comes to the scriptures, you don't know nothing. But that's what I'm saying. You wanna hand out sandwiches to niggas fresh out the pen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's what's gonna get you destroyed. You see, instead of preaching the gospel, you want to build your numbers. The numbers was already built, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that said, the Lord said it's going to be 144,000. You try to gather the whole nation of Israel where the Lord said hey, all he needed is 144,000. 12,000 from each tribe. But here you are standing outside the penitentiary, <laughs> the penitentiary area, <laughs> recruit. <laughs> recruit from the pen. themselves without fear. You see? You got these dudes using the Bible. They, they, they using the Bible for carnal means. You see? No fear of the Heavenly Father, man. You see? Nothing that you, the way you present yourselves don't show that you understand the scriptures. <laughs> Feeding yourselves without fear, man. You just doing you. We gonna do this. We gonna do that. Never say Lord willing. We got this. Go ahead. And the clouds that they are without water carried about of winds, trees of uh, whose fruit wither without fruit, twice dead. Man, man, by the roots, yes. wandering way into the sea, forming out of their own shame, wandering, wandering stars to whom is uh, reserved the blackness of darkness forever. They got that black on too. They got that heavy wind and black and shit too. And they got that black on too. And, and, and that's their doctrine. That's their doctrine. Black shades, black garment, black, all black. Yeah, black right. boots. Go ahead. Put black guns and everything. Black border of blue. <laughs> 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 that's it. Yeah. 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 
15 says, to it says, to exercise judgment to all and to convince all that they are ungodly without whom of all their ungodly deeds have they have uh, ungodly committed. Right. And of all their hard speeches, all right, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust. Yep. And their own mouth speaking great swelling words. Bro, those are the same people that was murmuring against Moses. Right. Bro, you blew it with Moses, you blew it with Yahweh Shai, then you blew it with the apostles. <laughs> Go ahead. Since, uh, having uh, men's persons aberrations by because of advantage. But the love, remember ye the words which I have spoken unto you, the apostles and our Lord Yahweh Shai, my shot. But it's the point. Uh, these two the point. It says, uh, how that they have told you that there shall be mockers in the last times mm -hmm. who shall walk after their own ungodly lust. It says, uh, these are they who separate themselves, sensual, having their having not the spirit. Bro, don't ISUPK say we the only ones with the truth? Yeah. If you ain't an ISUPK, you ain't got the truth. <laughs> but at the same, <laughs> but at the same time, they murmured against the prophet. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. The Lord put you in that position for the movie to be good. Oh yeah, you gotta have a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. Every movie gotta have a bad guy villain. <laughs> villain. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Oh man, you got more? That was it on that. All one. right, let's let. Yeah, I got one. Real quick. We're gonna go. This is yeah. Uh, we're gonna go around that way and come on around. The <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start at Proverbs 30 and 11, and then I'm going to jump up. This is uh, Proverbs 30 and 11. It says, there is a generation that curses their father and doeth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes and their lids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men and that's what you're doing man yep. you know you're really devouring the, you know the, the potential hopefully elect when you're telling them it's a title versus the name the brother had said earlier mm -hmm. he was like i'm gonna take the captain off of tazaria well what's that that's the title we still calling you tazaria that's a name right. you know and we just making a simple distinction but what you're doing is man you're devouring israel by, by leading them astray man you know, and, and and that's a deadly thing, man. Right. And you're gonna be punished for that by your house by Shimei Abishai. Right. Right. Yeah, you should repent. Right. That's yeah. part of salvation. That name is part of salvation. Right. You know, that the Lord said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So without that, then what? What that takes a part of you know I said the wicked scribes are first that they close up the kingdom of heaven. Right. Take that's part of the truth. You take it away. You got it. Right. Right. Yeah, done. I'm going to jump up to Proverbs 30 and 4. It says, Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? Right. What is his name? And what is his son's name if thou can't tell? Man. And you can't tell that, man. Right. Okay. You know, right. you, can't, you can't defend the gospel, man. You can't bring, you know, uh, Israel unto the, the redemption of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai because you're telling them it's a title, man. You know? So so that's deadly, man. You know? And, and you need to repent because these things that the Lord has given us, he's given us his name, you know, to call upon him, you know, in the time of trouble. What are you going to do? You're going to call on the title in the time of trouble? Right. That's not going to save you, you know? So, so yeah, man, these are the things that, that we, we out here to do, man. Give the names unto you, how about Shimei Abishai? Because the name was given unto us, you know, the prophets of the Lord. That's it. Yeah, it's saying Acts. There's no name under heaven. Acts 4 and 12. Acts 4 and 12. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. But this precept going to a testament with this elder brother here, two other elders. Actually dealt with as long as I was called to give the letter. This is Rock 6 and 32. It says, My son, if thou wilt. Oh, you don't have it. You got it, y'all got it. Y'all got it. So, this one you got it. So, Rock 6 and 32. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. 
And if thou wilt, if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be proved. Right. You would, back then, you were taught, man. You yeah. looked in those carpenter calls, all right, dealing with me, other the war, the, the elders of doctrine, man. All right? Caesarea. You were taught the right way. You were in the straight, though. You were, you were corrupted. Because you, like I say, at one particular time, you could have went literally five to ten miles to where the apostles were at. You chose to go two hours away to fill it. To deal with the deal, the deal with the, the IFQ. Timothy 1 and 5 this uh, first Timothy 1 and 5 now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a and of a good conscience and of faith and faith right? and that's what the elect the actual elect they're gonna have man Lord willing we have that number we got a pure conscience when we bring this out because we know it's the truth right. Right? Right. from which some having swerved <laughs> have turned aside unto vain, vain jangling 
Yeah. I used to eat like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You just yeah. 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 worried about you talking. Walk the road. Get some grass. Good talk to me. Throw some puddles and shit. That's you, man. You're in somebody's yard right now. You're in somebody's yard and shit, man. Talking vain jingling, man. You talking about straight bullshit. If you ain't got right. the name of the Lord, that just nullifies your whole argument right there. I got one to back you up. Right <laughs> I'm gonna get on his ass too. This is uh, Ecclesiastes uh, ten and twelve says, "The words of the wise, wise man's mouth are uh, glory, but the lips of a fool swallow it up in mouth." Man, that's him. Every week, it like it's gonna be every week thing now. Got a 16 game season to go and off. What's next? What's next week, man? <laughs> baseball. 82 games. 82 games. Two a week. Two a week. Hey, bro. You got a little more. Yeah. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talking, uh, mischievous madness. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. And, and, the, and the reason why is the reason why is because he's not using the scriptures to validate his points. Right. Because his points are not validatable in the scriptures. You see? Bro, the reason why we make the points that we make is because the scriptures and the precepts back it up. You see, there's no precepts that say the name of the Lord is not important and that his name is just a title. But then in the title of the video, he had his name that attack Captain Kazariak is the undisputed champ of Israel. Wow. That's a title. 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 But if, but if you say Tazariac, if you just say Tazariac without adding that to it, he's a bit. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Who? Okay, okay, okay. So if your title is, if somebody says the undisputed champion of Israel, they just leave it at that. Everybody's going to want to know who the undisputed champion of Israel is. And they're not going to know until they know that it's your name. Even on top of that, that whole thing that you guys put on your name on, Captain, General. Yes. That's a that's a position, that's a title, right. but an actual name comes behind it. Right. You y'all be doing shit that y'all don't even even understand, man. And, and like I say, there is a fence buck like this brother was going into. If you go to the military and ask for the lieutenant, lieutenant, lieutenant who? Right, right. You have to put a name there. Right. Just like when just like when you was a young boy. You go to the grocery store, you get lost. You say, Mama, a bunch of women gonna turn around. Right. Who is, what, what mama? Oh, you, you have to see your mama name. Like, when you go to the, the lost and found, they ask you, okay, right. I'm looking for my mama. What's your mama name? Right. 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 My mama name, right. uh, Joyce uh, Jones. Yeah, yeah, man, the loud speak, man. Yeah, he gonna get on the loud speak and be like, "Mama, <laughs> 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 everybody, okay? What are you talking about? Stupid shit, man." Oh, man, man. Good. Don't make no sense, man. That's crazy. Crazy, man. Well, not to you guys. These things doesn't matter. That's why. That's why you got guys that can play and you can call the Lord's name. You'll play your name, whatever you want. I'm calling that. Wait, that. <laughs> so 1 Timothy 1 and 7, it says, Desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor whereof they affirm. So you, so you don't even know what you're talking about, man. Lord, Lord, straight sure like that. You have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Titus 1 and 16. They profess that they know Yahweh Shemel Shah. But in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. Oh, man. Man. And that's what you and that's what you're seeing. You see? Because they say they say these outlandish things, claiming to be prophets, but they can't go in the Bible to substantiate. You see? And then when when they, when, when they realize that you got the defenders of the gospel that's saying, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, well, they shit. They just be raping a little 12-year-old girl, so don't worry about what they say. John the Baptist ain't in the truth. Can you go into the scriptures and show us that? John the Baptist is a bottle of hot sauce, nigga. Peggy Tyson, shut the fuck up. That's how they talk to these dudes, man. Nigga sitting up here drinking scotch with a will, with no precepts. But this is class. <laughs> Uh, 
smoke a cigar. Let, let's bring the precepts though. Let's bring the precepts though. You know what I'm saying? Every brother that got a precept, break down your precept. Just real quick, it's back to what is up. It's Isaiah 52 going into Caesarea. Isaiah 52 and 6, it says, Therefore my people shall know my name. Man. Therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that will speak. Behold, it is I. Right, so we're going to have a name. What does scripture say? I believe in Zechariah. He shall restore to them in pure language. Mm -hmm. You see, so we're going to have a name. So sorry, I, you, like the brothers been saying, hey, we got to be calling on the name of the Lord. It's our help. You know what I mean? This is our power. You know what I'm saying? Like the brothers, you don't call mama on the, hey, you know some, what I mean? Can, can, somebody, can somebody type title in the blue letter? Somebody type title in the blue letter and see what we get. Because you keep seeing the name, name of the Lord, name of the Lord, name of the Lord, name of the Lord, name of the Lord. Name of the Lord. You don't say nothing about the title of the Lord. Okay. And hey, to back up what you said too, I about that up second line. It also says, and I will also leave in the midst of thee and afflict it and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of your house. Now we ain't gonna be afflicted and poor the kingdom. That's now. Right now is the time to trust in the name of the Lord. You feel we gonna happen in the kingdom? We understand that. But they say you gonna leave in the midst of the and afflicted and poor people, man. Right now is what we need the name of the Lord. We oh, need that help. When, when you fucked up in this world, you die on one, out of the emergency. Well, look, that's our help, man. We need that right now. Not in the kingdom. In the kingdom, we gonna be good. We need it right now, man. You know, he said it for who? I can get it real quick. And for who, when we come back to the truth, like the brother said, lost and found. Who was lost? We found now, right? But you gotta, before you get that, you gotta say the name real quick. This for 2 and 30. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. That's us being afflicted and poor, right? But check this out. The stiff necked people. That's a fucking title. Who are the stiff necked people? The Israelites. Right. <laughs> it says, it's a, it, and they shall remember themselves. So we will just remember we Israelites, Judah, Reuben, Gad, right? All the laws that you know, the, the laws, and so on and so forth. But this, what else we go remember? Coming back to who we are, it says that they shall know that I am Yahweh, their power, for I will give them a heart and hands to him. It's the point. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And when you go into that word think, I looked it up. In the etymology online, it's to remember. The first def the first or second definition for that word think is to remember. So in the land of my captivities, it says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think or remember my name, man. That's not. That's not. You can't get around that. Yahweh said, Father, I gave your name, John 17, to the men you gave me. Somebody got to have the name of your house. Somebody got Somebody to have the name of your house. Bring that title out. The Lord, yeah. yeah. It's, he got the word title. I got a scripture. To title. Okay, gone. All right. Gun. It's Job 32 and 21. Mm -hmm. Let me not, I pray you, accept any man's person, neither let me give flattering titles unto man. Ooh. Mm -hmm. For I know not to give flattering titles, and so doing, my maker should soon take me away. Ooh, you got it, bro. Hey, <laughs> if the Lord said give reverence to my name, his name is not a title. So if you giving reverence to a title, you not, you're not revering the Lord. Yeah. That's common sense, man. Right. All right? And when you go into flattering, right, real quick, give up, hey, to, that's really like respects of persons, which... In this case, you give a respect to a third person, which is yourself, or to other men. And to give respects to persons when you go in James, it's sent unto you. And James, it says, man, who give respects a person that's that's sent unto him, man. It's sticking close to him. But when you go into flattering titles, it says uh, this H3655, it says to title, to surname, to be surname, give a flattering title. Give uh to you to eulog eulogize the right hand surname uh to surname himself. That's what I'm saying. You got a name and you got a surname. You know what I'm saying? You got to distinguish. The, you got to distinguish between both. You know what I'm saying? The proper name. You see? You can have all the 
titles in the world. You know what I'm saying? You can have all the nicknames, which is a certain, uh, you can have all that you want. But that's what I'm saying. What's some, okay, okay, think about it like this. Think about it like this. Think about it like this. Think of somebody who got a whole lot of nicknames, right? Big boy, daddy fat sacks. What's on that motherfucking check when he go to the bank, nigga? His name. His government yeah, name. Right. His it's proper name. name. Spirit, you didn't enter that because I was just looking something up. Even when you go into that, that quote unquote wrestling world, they use titles all day. Yep. Yep. All yep. fucking day. Yep. Stone Cold Steve yep. Austin. Yep. Is he Stone Cold? <laughs> Undertaker this. Kane that. Right. Like that brother said, yep. they go at the end of, at the, end of the, the street, they go cast that motherfucking check with name is on it. That's right. That's right. You know? That's right. That's what I'm saying. So, 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 so bring it, so bring it, so bring it even lower, right? If Yahweh Shai was walking the planet, he's the king of kings, he's the lord of lords, he's the prince of peace, he's the king of righteousness, he's all those things. But if he had a, if, if he was in this society with us today and he had a paycheck, his paycheck, his paycheck would say Yahweh Shai. Because that's the name that's, that's the name that matters the most. God. Well, in this sense, Joshua, this society. You know? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So the name that's on your paycheck, you can have the coolest name in the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the nickname is, whatever you came with, it can be as clever as it wants to. And you can make money off that name. You can trade market and you can do all that. But when you cash that check, you can't walk. I was like, you can't walk in the bank talk about I'm juvenile. <laughs> whatever his name is, <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna work. Whatever his name is, is what's gonna be on that check. They ain't signing checks out to Lil B. <laughs> even even amongst men, when, when they ask me, so who do you want to uh, put this check in? Who name you want to put this check in? You have to put your brother's name, your real name in. You know, you got to write it on the back. Even when you go to your black ass to jail, you go to jail, who are you looking for, sir, in the system? I'm looking for a mean Joe Green. Well, we don't have a mean Joe Green. <laughs> right. <laughs> do, you know, do you know his name? His first name, last name? Uh, they ask you this shit, man. Right. Hospital, too. Yeah, hospitals too, man. <laughs> They ain't using that title shit, man. Yeah, shit. Yeah, at the end of the day, when it comes down to business, it's about your name, not your title. You see? And your how is not a title. Somebody get uh somebody get uh Hebrews eleven and six. Real quick. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, you you continue, you you call Sarnera stupid okay. because he was trying to put man on the same level as Yahweh by Shimmy Howard Shai. You know what I'm saying? But you doing worse. You're doing worse. You're claiming to be a man of the Lord and diminishing the Lord. But the deceiver and the, and the deceived are his. Mm -hmm. See? You see? You ain't got it, my nigga. Yeah, I said my nigga. It's a title. That's the title. That's the title. <laughs> That's the title, right? <laughs> my nigga Cesaria. You know? Hey, even Yahweh shall say, what do as the people call me? Mm. Right, then when he was yeah. talking to his disciples, yeah. Yeah. with the with yeah. the people saying, "Who the people say I am?" What they saying, "I am." Yeah, yeah. 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 some say you the king, say I am. Lord, I, but who do y'all say I am? Right, yeah. right? and he yeah. like, yeah, the spirit revealed that to you, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, people was calling him everything. Yeah. Oh, look at those Christians. Look at Christ. Yep. You know, look at the anointed one. They was calling him all kind of things, man. Right? Like, the Messiah, it. like they, they were calling him all type of things. You got right. I want to say, but at the end of the day, he had a name. You know what I'm saying? When, when, the gauge, when, when, when Gabriel went to Joseph and Mary, he told him, he said, she, he told him, you going to name him? What you going to name him? Yeah. <laughs> Not title get him. Get it. Get it. Get it. Did she say, you going to title him? He said, you going to name, name him. him. You going to name him. Name him, man. Yeah. Word, man. Word. That's it. That's all. Can't make that up. You know? Yeah. And, that, and that has to be a step. That has to be a step. It's the most the congregation. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 it says for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given us is a title in that, in that who is the us yeah he left man <laughs> who we left <laughs> right and it says and the government shall be upon his shoulder here we go and his name shall be called wonderful counselor 
the mighty power, the everlasting father, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. The prince of peace. He called you Hawa Shah, our everlasting father, man. But it says his name is gonna be called these type of things. Yep. So Yahweh Shah's name alone is just it's marvelous. It's beautiful. That's what comes along with it. Comes, comes along with it, you know? Right. Why you think when they put all, I think it was like last year or whatever, they had Yahweh Shah's name all all in written in red on, on yeah. and they called yeah. it all anti uh anti semitic anti yeah. semitic <laughs> Like you see all the other names, they call them all these other uh, all names, all your shoe and all these other names like that. Don't nobody come against that. But when you put that your house shot on the on the on the billboard, oh, that's bill right there, man. Oh, no, take it down. Kill it. You know, that's persecution of the law. Okay, from Moses. When the Lord sent Moses to Israel, he said, Lord, what should I tell him your name is? Yeah. He even went in the depth and said, Moreover, yeah. right? <laughs> tell him the Yahweh sent you, man. Yeah. No, we gonna get the business club. They need to know my name. That's right. Cause what did right. Pharaoh say? What is this God? Right. That's, that's right. yeah. What is what is this God that you talking about? Right. What is his name? Cause right. we, we need to know who this is. Yeah. Right. This you describe the known by your name, the Shot name, which is a home and is what right. he saved, he delivered. All right. So your name is essential. It's pivotal. In, in your acts of what you're doing towards a king. I'm bringing an uh, allegation towards a king to tell him, look, let my people go in the name That's of the this right. person. Right. Right. The king won't right. know who the name of that person is so he can X him out. Yeah. Like, this is my, my problem, you know? Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I, got I got it. I got one uh, real quick one. This is uh, Acts 19, 19 and 15. Hey, I got it, bro. Got All right. It. Yeah. 19 and 15 in the, the evil spirit answered and said, Yahweh shot, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are ye? I guess I know. All right, this word I know is Strong's G 1097, Genosco, Genosco, strong definition says, to know absolutely in a great variety of applications and with many implications as follow with others, not thus clearly expressed, Allow, be aware of, feel, have, knowledge, perceived, be resolved, can speak, be sure, understand. Right. And and, and, and when this uh, evil spirit, even evil spirits know Paul and Yahushua's name. He clearly said, I know that I know their name. I, yeah. These are the people who I know. It didn't say, like the person, they ain't saying no title. They're not going into any other thing. They're going into actual... Uh, have an actual uh, understanding of that person. All right. All right. Just because I go into, uh, just because I, I name a person uh, characteristics, I bring it out. Right. That's what the Bible deals with too. Characteristics is meant. All right. The Prince of Peace and different things like that. But it, you have to know the individual. Because even when it's another, it's another scripture when it goes into uh, to know someone. To know a, a girl, what, what it says to know a girl is uh, hey, uh, yo, to, 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 it's a, it's, it's an intimate situation, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. To know somebody, you see, you have to have a relationship to know, that's what you can't Same know, Lord. you can't know somebody without knowing it. Yeah. This is an intimate, what you see, it's an intimate relationship with your house shy and your house, man. Come, marriage, yeah, yeah. marriage. Yeah, that's, no. yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, it's an outline of biblical usage. It said to learn to know, to come to know, get a knowledge of, or perceive, feel. I'm going to hop to the point, so, which I was just talking about. It says uh, a Jewish idiom for sexual intercourse between a man and a woman. Right? That, that marriage to be become acquainted with, to know. Yeah. Constantly come acquainted with that's crazy too. Cause hey, what's like no, 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 no. we're supposed to be the wife, you know, or the other Lord. No, how would it feel if your wife come on and she calling you some other shit? Yeah. Other yeah. Nigga. Some other nigga shit. Other nigga shit. Other nigga shit. When you when you making love to her, she screaming out somebody else. Right. Some other nigga shit. <laughs> and then she knew when you tell her, she said your name don't matter. Right. <laughs> that just that's just a name. Right. That's just a man. That's just a man. That's just a man. That's just a tire. That's how the Lord feel about his people. Yeah, he's calling on these other, these other, these other names and everything like this. It's only one name. Tyrone. 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 Tyrone.
Say it wrong, or if you spell it wrong, they will correct you quick. You know? Yeah, they got, a, they got a, a YouTube guy that goes around on YouTube and perfectly he, he sees certain celebrities, he call, yeah, he right. call them the wrong the name or the name. wrong yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. And they get, I'm talking about the, the race, they get, they go berserk, <laughs> man. How you want a picture with me? You don't even know, you don't know who I am. And it'd it be, it be a guy like, they said, Kevin Gates, they calling him somebody else. He just, Alright, whatever, man. Like, you get pissed off, man. But you think the same thing happened with the Lord? Yep. And think about this, bro. You a worm. Oh, yeah. You a grasshopper. Yes. Disrespecting the name of the Lord. son blasphemed the name of Yahweh and cursed. In other words, like the brother just said, said he ain't show no respect to the name of the Lord, man. Like Birdman, put some respect on my name. Man, look, the Lord, how much more the Lord? So he ain't put respect on the Lord's name. Now let's see what the Lord gonna do about that. It says, an Israelitish woman's son blasphemed the name of Yahweh and cursed, and they brought him unto Moses, and his mother's name was Shilam my the daughter of the Greek of the tribe of Dan, and they put him in ward that the mind of Yahweh might be showed them. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Bring forth him that have cursed without the camp, and let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the congregation stone him, and thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Whosoever curse him. His power shall bear his sin. In other words, you will have to pay for that. If you play with the Lord's name, you will have to pay for that. Yeah. If you play, play with your Hawashai name, you're going to have to pay for that. What they said, hey, that's that same Acts 14, uh, Acts 4. Acts 4 and, 12. and 12, when he said no salvation, when you go a little above, Peter was cutting him. And that's when Kai was trying to say, don't, don't try to put his blood on us. No, you got to pay for that. You already said his blood on you. It's too late. You know, they try to, when they say, don't don't teach and prophesy in his name, you already got to pay for that, man. So the same thing, if you're telling Israel, 
one of the most important things concerning salvation, it don't matter or it's not there or it's just a time, you're going to have to pay for that, man. You know, and you see how he had to pay for it by being put to death. You know, but y'all got it. If I can say real quick, because they got an old saying that says, say whatever you want about me, but just get my name right. Just spell my name right, man. And it says, it's a, this is the difference between a title versus a name, and I got a little preset to back it up while I'm the shot. It says, a title is one or more words used before or after a person's name in a certain context. On the other hand, a name is a term used for identification. Names can identify a class or category of things or a single thing, either uniquely or within a given context. All right? And this is the book of Psalms, chapter 148, verse 13. It says, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, of people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. So how do we come near unto the Lord? By that name. Right. All right. right. It says relationship. That's right. 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 That
strength so once again salvation you know you can't call on the title for salvation you know we've gone over that all right that there's a, a relationship that must be built okay with your power that's why we're crying unto Yahweh Shai because without those names of Yahweh Yahweh Shai there is no salvation so so yeah by those names that title well the title of Yahweh Shai his name okay not the title selected his name is what we call off for salvation. That's it. Yeah. You make me think about the one you said. Make me think about the when they uh when they said many in that nature said, "Well, Lord, Lord." Mm -hmm. Matthew seven. The Lord said, "Depart from me, you work with iniquity, man." You know. And that's another thing. That's when, when, they, when it still go down. That's when we don't want to get the name of the, the, the Lord right. There. Ain't, ain't gonna be no title of that. You know, when she gets the flies, bullets get the flies. Shine through the apostle now being taught these things, and then 
not just believing these things just because they say so, but studying like, uh, 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 ourselves like the Bereans. Bro, everything that we do is centered around the scriptures, man. If the scriptures don't say it, it don't matter to us, man. You see? So with the words in this book, with the words in this book, diving into it and getting that understanding is why we are so bold in the way we say these things, man. You see? You cannot go into the scriptures and spend proof that the Lord's name is not important. You cannot go into the scriptures and prove that his name is a tyrant. Prove us wrong. Come with a list of precepts that you went through through the spirit to show us that the Lord's name is not his name. When he clearly told us it is. You wait. You know? Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the octave teaching about the mind while mind that's sincerity and truth. Shalom. 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 Shalom.